Good morning. Well, now here we are. Nice hand. Uh, how are you all doing? My God, isn't it marvelous? Are you doing okay? It's been a couple of weeks now since I've seen you. And uh, I was just, um, thought, you know, I'd nip on and see how everyone's doing, as I told you I would. Okay, so since we spoke last, hang on now, I've got to put on my gloves. I'm not set down in the side by side this morning, although I'd like to be, because it is a little bit old on up, a bit jiggly. Uh, since it re last spoke, oh, I've got to take that off again and show you. Uh, <clears throat> it was beautiful. You remember this? You remember that uh, we didn't, the ponds were open and, and we didn't have any snow and, and it was just gorgeous, yeah. Well, yeah, there you go. I don't know. Perhaps I spoke too soon. I don't know. You know, I mean, maybe was I braggy? I didn't think I was braggy. Uh, you know, I was, I was really just saying how blessed we were to have, uh, you know, such fantastic weather. But anyway, that all went to a, they say it's in like a lion out like a lamb. Uh, that marches, uh, but, you know, that's my brother there. Uh, but, you know, March, the first day of March was stunning. It was very beautiful. And, uh, but then after that, oh boy, it went right to pot, didn't it? Now, some people really, uh, you know, love this weather. I'm not one of those. I, I like, uh, I like the green. I like the sunshine. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a fair weather person. But anyway, uh, that's all we can do. I mean, you know, that's it. Who cares? What odds? That's it. Thank God we're alive. Uh, you know, the world is in an awful state, and uh, we won't go into that today. But uh, let me tell you, I am certainly praying for these people in the Ukraine and, and for people affected all over the world. So anyway, uh, but how are you doing? You know, bringing it closer to home. Did anyone try the, uh, the new perfume? Did you try the new perfume? I heard from a lot of people who had quit smoking and some people said, no, sir, I haven't given it up and I'm not planning on it. <laughs> and I said, good for you. Nice to, nice to be uh, uh, fastidious about it. You know, nice to be committed is what I say. Uh, but anyway, so yes, uh, since I saw you last, it has been Ash Wednesday, which meant it was Pancake Day. Did you have pancakes on pa Pancake Day? Leave it to the Christians, you know. Uh, you know, people all over the world are fasting. <laughs> but the Christians, we'll eat everything we can on the day before Ash Wednesday. Well, you know, they made hot cross buns, for God's sake, out of the shape of a cross. Uh, but no, no, no. Pancake Day, I had... I'll, I'm just going to say it. I, and I had been so good... But I had uh, chocolate chip pancakes. My God, they were nice. Did you also? I made them home, certainly. Uh, and then was Lent. Then is Ash Wednesday. Now, I mean, I say this, and I, and I think, you know, uh, the many, many people probably uh, follow Ash Wednesday or, well, I mean, you know, follow the, the tradition. No. Okay, Ash Wednesday is on a Wednesday, obviously, because of its name. And Good Friday is fish. That sort of carry on. And Newfoundlanders are very, very uh, traditional. And so, you know, I think I'm safe enough to say this. But anyway, on Ash Wednesday, I gave up. Did you give up anything for Lent? Because I did. I gave up. I gave up whites, white carbs. Uh, I gave up iced cappuccino. I'm going to tell you, I don't drink coffee or tea. I never have. Uh, <clears throat> just never, uh, never really got into it, you know, even though mom tried so hard and my Aunt Betty, uh, she still say, Sheila, do a cup of tea? You don't want tea? I said, I won't have it now. She said, no, not now. That's my brother dying to be on the camera. Uh, I said, no, not now. And she said, no, all right. Well, maybe later on. So I never, ever drank tea. <clears throat> Or coffee but I love a nice cappuccino and so anyway I uh, gave that up for Lent don't tell me it's not tough I'm gonna sit down here now 
and have a nice sensible talk with you. Uh, don't tell me it's not tough. But anyway, I will tell you that years ago when we'd give up uh, things for Lent, we would, we'd, we'd hold off for the whole, like, you know, uh, from Ash Wednesday right to Good Friday. We we didn't eat any of the junk food that we had given up. My father used to call it, uh, he'd say, Shirley, you're going to have to give up that junk food. <laughs> Apparently, I always loved it. He, he'd emphasize the last syllable, you know. And uh, so anyway, but we stayed off it. But I have since discovered that Sundays are free. Did you know that? Did you know that on Sundays you is is not part of Lent? So I thought Jesus Christ was going through, you know, uh, the fast for 40 days, 40 nights. No, every Sunday he'd have a pick of something, apparently. Uh, so anyway, I too, on Sunday, good morning. I too, pardon? I'm back at it. <laughs> yeah. God bless you. Thank you, doll. Uh, anyway, I too will have a pick of something on Sunday. And so I did. And so anyway, Wednesday or Sunday wasn't too bad. Then onward here i am on thursday and no ice cap no nothing it's been it's been a bit of a grueling time however uh did you also give up something for lent now a couple of years ago someone posted you know instead of giving something up give something too and so they said for the 40 days give uh, one item for every day of the 40 days and so i did that I went around the house and I gathered up to 40 items. Now, I'm not going to I'm not going to say that oh I every day I had it in my mind. No. I really did one run through and I said 40 items. Okay, there they are. I'm ready. Do you know what I mean? I didn't it I didn't drag it on for days with that bag hanging on the hall. Uh no, I I gathered up 40 items and brought them. But anyway, so did you give something up? Are you giving did you pick something up? Those things. I told you about the soap and I told you about the perfume and the new toothbrush. And last night I was sat down and I was talking and I was saying, well, what, what, what could I do? Uh, you know, and Karen suggested that I tell you this. And anyway, you know how your house gets half stale, you know, during the winter. Uh, and it does. That's just the truth because we can't open the windows as much as we'd like because of the heat, certainly, and the price. Uh, so, you know, we keep the windows barred shut and the house does get a little bit stale. Put some cloves. I did this a couple of weeks ago. I put some cloves on a pot, in a pot, on the stove and boiled them. Now, make sure the pot's full and you don't dry the cloves out. You know, burn the air out of the pot. Uh, so put the cloves in in the pot in the water and boil them sometimes uh, Kelly my sister told me you could add a little bit of lemon to this as well and that'll spruce up your house like in no man's business uh, so have you uh, any little tidbits for me with regard to scents because I'll tell you I had those little wall scents from uh, <clears throat> Beth, Beth and Body Works and and they're lovely there you plug them in a lovely little scent they made my little dog sick. Sadie got sick through the means of it. And so they, these can be poisonous for dogs. So be careful about these things. I didn't know, although $1,700 at an emergency vet told me the difference. And so there you go. Let you learn from my mistakes. This is why I'm telling you this. Now, anyway, okay, all right. Now, <laughs> last time we talked, I went on for 24 minutes almost. I, it got away from me. And so I thought, no, I shan't go on for so long today but i do have a story for you years ago god bless my god there's dad back again uh but anyway years ago my uncle my god they love to drink and as many people do and anyway he uh it was during the time of the prohibition where you had a liquor book do you, do you remember that do you remember the liquor book does anyone remember this uh, or do you remember hearing about it? They had a liquor book and once the ticket was gone, that's it. No more liquor. So, you know, they'd save up the, the tickets and then they'd buy the liquor and, and, and then they'd have a tear, I suppose, is what, what happened. God rest mom, she's gone now, so I can't ask her the details again. 
but she did tell me. And she said, anyway, on computer, uh, one night, uh, you know, had a nice time. Uh, drank, uh, he drank a beer a bit. And you know, they say, uh, what brings you down will bring you back up again. Well, you, you've you heard that saying. And so anyway, Uncle Peter and, and, and his friends, you know, they, they were all having a marvelous time. The next day they were driving down Kilbride Road and they got a flat. I don't know what it was with the flats, but anyway, they got a flat because mom said, you know, years ago, we used to go up to CBS, up to uh, oh, Upper Gullies, because that's where all her relations are from. Uh, and that'd be a day trip then. And I remember one year, one time, one trip, we had 13 flats. Now I thought that's a lot of flats. I mean, how do you, how do you fix them? Obviously they weren't fixing them. They were blowing them up for another few minutes. But anyway, uh, 13 flats, I thought, anyway, uh, they'd pack a lunch, you know, go, go up to, <laughs> up to upper gullies. My God, isn't it marvelous? I'd pack a lunch myself now, actually, if I'm honest. Uh, they'd pack a lunch, and poor old, poor Aunt Kit said to um, Bess, my grandmother, when she got home, she said, oh, very nice. She said, we had a nice sandwich. I believe it was chicken because there was a leg in mine. <laughs> Imagine keeping the bones in the sandwich. But anyway, it's a separate point. They got a flat. Uncle Peter's friend was down fixing the flat and Uncle Peter was sort of, you know, hang on, uh, uh, let me see if you can see this. He was sort of draped over the hood of the car like this, you know, and he was hung over like a set of tits. I don't think I'm allowed to say that. But anyway, you know, my, he was hung over. And this a tourist came along and stopped him, saw them stop and said, yes, sir. And all, all Uncle Peter could think of was how sick he was. And if he had a bottle of beer now, you know, he'd feel better. And the tourist came along and said, yes, sir. He said, good day, sir. He said, uh, yes, sir. I was wondering if you might tell me uh, where Cape Spear is. He said, a case of beer? <laughs> Honey, I haven't got a bottle for me. <laughs> now you tell me he wasn't sick. Oh, God bless him. He, and all he could think was case of beer. My God, no. He said, honey, I haven't got a bottle for myself. <laughs> so anyway, God bless him. Those are the old days of the liquor book. Do you remember these days? And I'll tell you one more little story now before I go. Uh, and this is true. Uh, a friend of mine just bought uh, the flower studio. The flower studio is a beautiful shop. Uh, Anna is my friend and she just bought it. And, and I said to her, Anna, I said, uh, you know, it's a great business. I said, you know, any hiccups, any, you know, a, as you start, she said, no. Uh, she did have one sort of awkward time. And uh, she said, well, what happened? She said, well, she said, uh, uh, there was a mix up in flower deliveries. And I said, oh, she said, how bad? I said, how bad could it be? She said, well, she said, uh, you know, when someone opened a new business, they asked for an arrangement. And so I sent them, uh, my driver got mixed up and sent him uh, a funeral arrangement. I said, was it very bad? She said, well, you know, when you're opening a new business with deepest sympathies is not the card you want to read. You know, and I said, oh god well i said thank god it wasn't worse well she said the people at the funeral weren't really excited to get uh, good luck on your new location either <laughs> I said, no. you got to be so cautious when you're giving out things don't you anyway now listen to me i hope you have a wonderful couple of weeks I, uh, I'm enjoying my, my two weeks uh, you know now but i will tell you that it seems like a long stretch and I will also tell you that we're coming up to my anniversary of when I started doing these back in last year, uh, March, it was March, I think March 25th or something like this. So um, anyway, my God, it's hard to believe. I've been putting them up on YouTube and uh, some people have been watching them. Thank you, Dana. One person watched. Uh, no, maybe a few. Uh, so that's very sweet. But anyway, so next time I see you will be in two weeks' time. And I will, 
I, I look forward to reading all your little comments in that. And until then, I really hope you have a wonderful couple of weeks. Say a prayer. If, you, if you're so inclined, say a prayer for the people uh, in, in these uh, war-torn countries. Now, God help us. But anyway, and uh, that the gas doesn't go too high. Okay. I, I really love having a little talk with you every couple of weeks. Love to you.